don't know what I'm actually doing, apart from the fact that I'm waiting. Technically, I do know what I'm doing, but not really. Um, I'm not actually doing a talk, don't worry. Mr. Williams's slash daddy slash turkey chicken sprout whatever kingdom kids call them at the moment um yeah so i'm gonna wait patiently just a sec i'm on the way he's coming that is good hopefully in less than a minute so sorry thank you thank you so very much thank you um i'll take over from here thank you oh. 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 Sometimes being patient is so hard. I am well practiced in trying to be patient, especially through lockdown, as I have had to take my wonderful wife into the shops, well I take her to the car park. She goes into the shops, I stay in the car. We want to limit the number of people in the shops, obviously need to be sensitive with things are as they are at the moment. So she goes into the shop, I stay in the car, and I wait. Patiently. At least that's the idea. And that kind of idea of patience is not actually the one of Galatians 5 that we're going to be looking at right now. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Brilliant. And one of those, patience, isn't actually the word that we should really use. If we look at the NIV version, they say the word forbearance, which for a Kingdom Kids leader, that's really, really annoying. Um, also for a youth leader. In fact, most normal people do not use the word forbearance, particularly about the Kingdom Kids, because we teach them the nine fruit thingy. Love, joy, peace. First three, all one syllable. Um, patience, kindness, goodness. Next three, all two syllables. And the final three, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, all three syllables. Absolutely brilliant. Messed up when we use the word forbearance. But it gives us a more accurate look at what that word actually means. Because all those words are to do with relationships we have with other people. And forbearance is much more that kind of putting up with other people that maybe are pushing our patience a little bit. God has somehow blessed my wife with an enormous amount of patience, which I'm very grateful for. She puts up with me in incredible ways, and I'm really proud of her for that. So when looking at patience, the first thing I want to look at is the fact that God is patient. And of course, Ephesians 5 verse 1, verse 1 says, be imitators of God. So this is a reason why um, we kind of think we should try and be patient. Um, if you look at 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 16, it's that area where Paul is talking about how amazing God is to have been so patient with him when he was the worst of sinners, terrible man, doing all these terrible things, and he lists everything there. But he says, Look at the patience of God that he still could wait for me and use me to be effective, which is fantastic. Um, and another thing that really struck me when I've looked at this is if we knew how much God hated sin, it would give us a much better understanding of how patient he is. If we look at 1 Peter 3 verse 20, it's where he talks about in the time of Noah that um, God was patient, patient, waiting for the people to turn from their ways. Um, and again, if you look at 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, I'm, I'm going to read this one out. Um, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And that's followed on with verse 15 a few later. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation. So that's talking about the fact that God is waiting. He's giving as many people as possible the opportunity 
to be saved. And that's why uh, God is showing his patience with all these things. So God's patience is an act of love. Love is what makes him patient. He doesn't go out of his way to try and be patient. God is love. And because of that love, he is patient. And that is exactly the same for us. Trying to be patient will not make us patient. But like it says in Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will then be added. As we've already looked at Ephesians 5, verse 1, be imitators of God. And that's like the whole point of Galatians 5. I mean, the story of Galatians, the letters written to the Galatians, um, were written by Paul because the people in Galatia, they were really, really uh, into the Jewish law. They wanted to make sure, they were really proud even, that they had high moral standards based on following rules. And following the law was getting in a little bit of a problem when Gentiles were coming, uh, coming to faith. So Paul doesn't say, come on everybody, let's work on our peace, love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. But he says, you need the Holy Spirit. Put God first. Put his way first. Put the way of love first. So, yes, we are called to be patient. Uh, you can see it in Ephesians 4, verse 2, for example. Be patient with one another, bearing with one another. There's that forbearance idea coming in again. But it's not about trying to be patient. And I'd like to read um, Colossians 1, verses 9 to 12 for you, because this gives you another little clue about what we're talking about. Let's have a look at this. So we have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Then the way you live will always honour and please the Lord and your lives will produce every kind of fruit. All the while you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. We also pray that you will be strengthened with all his glorious power so you will have the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy always thanking the Father. So our idea is to go God's way, follow his way, and that's where we'll find our patience. That will be the fruit of us following. So if you need patience today, if you're listening because you need patience today, seek out a patient God who is just waiting patiently.